so that's uh, why you know and then people started to there was a bit of a spontaneous round of applause for some of the other vehicles that were following there is now all of a sudden a tremendous stillness in this part of central london another motorcycle just making its way uh, away to our right and uh, before too long i think we're going to so you can hear the noise in the background as here comes the hearse now making its way and there was an initial cheer but now oh, i suppose so uh, tight well um it's working a lot better now it has some tight on as the hearse makes its way past us down constitution hill and it will have been cheered on by some others just taking a moment just take it all in yeah. they're on their way to buckingham palace now phil and just after eight o'clock last night the queen's coffin arrived at buckingham palace our reporter rob oxley is there the first motorbike outriders uh, have already reached us here at buckingham palace silence almost from the media pen everyone and my colleague Johnny Diamond the moral correspondent standing on the barriers to get a glimpse of this uh, the uh, first motorbike outriders and blue flashing lights oh, coming as people uh, nodding as those sort of bowing as they come through I don't think the the uh, the state uh, hearse has uh, the royal coffin uh, the royal hearse has made its way here just yet but uh, silence can't has play any come music. over the crowd as uh, we await this short journey from Hyde Park Corner where my colleague Nick Goblin is. Listen to that, you can just hear cheering, mm. cheering as it approaches us, as the coffin and the state's hearse makes its way uh, round, approaching the bottom of, uh, of, uh, of Constitution Hill, now going up and just listen to the cheers of people. And this morning we've got reporters lining the route. Well, Harry Lowe is people waiting to witness the Queen lying in state and joins me now. Harry, what's it like down there? Morning to Rockley. You might hear there's a frisson of excitement and the reason for that is these much waited for yellow wristbands which indicate your you have just about been started to be handed out and I think we're about number 250 so everybody in the queue looking ahead who really has had almost no activity at all today nobody's moved and i think they're excuse me please yeah lots of lots of wristbands being handed out and people are quite excited because there's been no movement at all all morning and now suddenly they're being given these yellow wristbands what does that mean in reality for those of you thinking about coming down it means that you can leave the queue now you will have to come back today to reclaim your place in the queue and mm. i'm just looking at one of the most excitable people in the queue. <laughs> and that's Ruth, because you're number 200, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. 200, yeah. I feel like it, because it's been a very, very, very long, long far from the middle of the night almost, yeah, yeah. What time did you get here? Well, I didn't get here until probably just after half five, but um, I was up at four to walk to get here, so yeah. And why are you here? I, I've only, well, it's stupid, I'm I've only known the Queen, but I was born in 53 year of the coronation and I just I think it's this sudden sense of loss that she's been here all my life um, and now she's gone and it's just this total disbelief I think ages I think we just thought she was somehow going to keep going forever and it's just this realization that she's truly gone and we miss her yeah so this is to pay our respects really and I met all these lovely people oh, yes. who might be in the queue so, so you came alone? I came yeah. alone, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I wouldn't have known it to approach you guys because it was in a. Three scan. Hold OK. And it always scan. Let's see how many it finds. So I've got a new aerial in the loft. Can't 
Oh yeah. from you being able uh, to even enter to pass the Queen lying in state. Uh, had Council offices here in Harringay, and they've got a book of condolence in front of me. Can read a couple of the message here. Thank, uh, thank you for 70 years of extraordinary service. May you enjoy a well-deserved rest. With grateful thanks for all your service to our great country. A couple of the messages on the book of condolence here. And across Harringay, they've got uh, books of condolence in most of the libraries. Yesterday, I went to Wood Green Library, where one of those books of condolence is based, and uh, I spoke to um, one gentleman who was signing that book of condolence, Kirit Kumar Thakra from Bounds Green. He's 50 years here in the UK, and he explained to me why he had gone there to sign that book. I'm 67 years old, and uh, I come from Uganda which was part of British, British, British colony. So at the school, in the headmaster's office, all our classes would have a let Queen, well now let Queen Elizabeth photographs. Get some so new tap stations as well. Uh, sort of thinking about her right from the day we were getting our education back home to date. And uh, I think she's done a wonderful job, not only for UK, but many, about 56, other countries, uh, part of Commonwealth countries, and I feel that she has left uh, a very much good example for us all to follow uh, of how humble and oh, sincere yeah. and how at the expense of sometimes not being able to give a heart to the as she did it for the rest of us all. Signing this book and leave some memories behind. 